Got him. Got him. Flip around a Ned rig, dude. Flip around, find out. What's up, nerds? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I am out on the home lake. We're out here to test out some new combos. Combos that I, uh, well, one's brand new. One is fairly new and I've put about three or four casts into it. These are two ultralight combos. So we've got the BFS setup, which is right next to me here. The Shimano Curato, which I've got spooled up with eight pound test braid and four pound test mono as a leader there. I've got it micro Texas rigged with a bait that we poured. This is one of our Ned rigs, the, the first actual Ned rig that we poured. <laughs> it didn't come out the way we wanted it to, but it actually came out kind of cool for these clear waters. I think it could do well. So I want to go flip this thing around. Uh, that is paired up with the Dobbins Sierra Ultra Finesse casting rod. It's a six foot nine ultra light and I'm excited to be using this. So I'm going to put the herd on the casting setup and we've also got new rod, old reel, uh, but that's our Samar. This is the smallest size that they offer, the 500 size. And I, I think this is the C10 actually. Yep, this is the C10 model if you're looking for it specifically. Nice budget reel, something that really does well and one of my favorite ultralight setups. And then we've got this new TFO rod that I haven't even really tested out. So this is the trout panfish rod from TFO. This one is a six foot ultralight, casting ratings from 132nd of an ounce to 3 16ths of an ounce. And I'm copying my buddy, Ethan Duvetter, otherwise known as Fish Anything, from Mule Fishing on this ultralight drop shot. So we have a 116 ounce teardrop weight, and we've got his brand new burrow bug, the cross setup on that drop shot. I've got it shanked up here. Little open hook option that you can do rigging something like this, where it's gonna keep that craw in position. And it is on an owner mosquito hook. So ultralight hook, ultralight weight, ultralight rod. This is gonna be fun. Um, so I'm gonna go around the lake here, see if I can put some fish on these two combos, really get a good feel for how these rods and reels perform. Uh, together and I think this will be a lot of fun. So if you guys were interested in BFS or ultralight, you're looking for new combos, rods, reels, options like that, uh, let me test it out for you. And you let me know in the comments what you guys think or let me know in the comments what you guys are running right now. Appreciate you guys watching. Let's get some fishing done. I wanna start with my own lure, something that we made. Cause I mean, there's nothing that really beats catching on something that you made. I'm gonna head over to this ledge spot right here, see if we can't get a catch in on that net. Uh, first of all, first impressions on the Shimano Curato BFS. Awesome. Oh, I think we just had a hit. We did. I'm getting hit. I'm on, dude. I'm on. First cast. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Look at the flex on that rod. That is on our own Ned. Look at that. First freaking cast, dude. We made a bait and I caught a fish on it. That is neat. Look at that little dinky guy. Get out of here. This came out like a pretty cool pattern. So the funny thing is this is actually chartreuse. It does have this hyper glow to it. So if you put this under a black light, it glows like crazy. So I'm, I'm feeling like the way the fish are seeing this is pretty cool as well. And then we mix that in with what we believe is like the top ranked flake that you can use in Michigan, which is copper. And then we threw some purple in there. Uh, the second color is a June bug purple, which is pretty rad. I just cast that straight into the wind, no problem. So nice job, Curato. Yeah, I mean, it came out really neat. It was intended to be a laminate split color and the colors ended up mixing because we didn't orient the uh, color splitter properly. And it was kind of a happy accident because I mean, you saw it, like, look at that thing. It's freaking cool. But it is a lot of fun. And that's the only argument I ever make for it. Boom, dude. Yes, that's a, is that a good bass? It might be, it might be a good bass. <laughs> Once again, on the plastic we made, look at that. That is heckin' cool, dude. Let's just try out the ultralight rig. Ultralight drop shot. The things I would never think to run unless my friends did them. Got a little craw on here, so let's see. Probably my favorite color of this burrow bug, by the way. Oh, already getting hit, uh, which is the pasture fire. I think I've caught maybe two, three fish on this rod so far. Really haven't been putting it to work at all. So I wanna make sure I give it some time today. Got him. Speak of the devil. Bluegill. Dude, look at the, f look at the bend on this rod. On a little gilly. 
crunching on that craw, dude. That is what you want right there. A little ultralight drop chat. Neat, neat, neat. Let's go. Liking the TFO. Very whippy. Very whippy. Um, obviously, you guys know at this point, we've said it enough times, we're making our own ultralight. It would probably be a little bit stiffer. Uh, we want to have a good time casting jigs and cranks. So you got to kind of meet in the middle for that. Really happy with the production process so far. So that should be coming here pretty soon, we think. Oh, that's fish on. Another little gilly. Chunker. Chunker. Oh. <laughs> the clap back. I love these guys. Oh man, he ate that whole craw. All right, what's out in front of me? Oh, a ton of fish. That's fish. Oh, that's a good one. That's a good one. Oh my gosh. Yeah, buddy. Come here. Got him. <laughs> Woo! This is stupid. This is so dumb. There we go. Oh, better. Way better fish. Oh my gosh. <laughs> what is this? Oh my, is that a good bass? Yup. Yup. Hey, buddy. Come on up. That would be a bass. That's a good fish. So far, my best fish of the day. I will say, like, I know you can dial in the Cast King Zephyr. However, it is nice to have a reel that you don't have to do a lot of work to get it going the way you want to. To me, the Cast King Zephyr feels like you gotta, you know, up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B, A, B, uh, to get it to work. You gotta input your cheat code. And yes, I remember that cheat code. I know I'm not alone with that. The color has been popping, man. Purple and clear chartreuse glow. Here we go. Got him. Yeah, buddy. Oh, dude, what? Bottom lipped it. He's a bottom feeder. <clears throat> this reminds me, like, I know a lot of guys like to flip the, uh, the yum dinger, stick worm. But you can also flip around a Ned rig, dude. Flip around and find out. Gosh dang. This thing's killing it. I need to make more of these baits on accident. I don't know, guys. If this doesn't look fun to you, I can't help you. <laughs> like, this is an absolute blast. Fish. Yep. Got him. Decent. There he is. Oh, making a run on the BFS. Put the BFS to work. Oh, my gosh. Got him. All right. Again, not a big one, but he's got kind of a big mouth for uh, being a sub 13 incher. Let's switch Ned's just because this one's basically dead, but great color. Absolutely smashed it. Good job, bait. The color we originally intended to make that didn't happen. And here's what we're also gonna do. Got a couple of craw baits here that I wanna throw. Where's the other one? Right here. Yeah. So I'm gonna throw our color first. I just want to see how it does. Now this is a obviously a lot darker than the one I was just throwing. But since Texas rig is working right now, I really don't want to shift off of that. So here's that laminate. This is the triple A color. Well, green and chartreuse that time. June bug, little black flake, and purple flake in there. Oh, got that one. Stuck. Ooh, decent fish. That's a decent fish. That is, oh gosh, I'm gonna lose him. Hang on, he's, he's a bit aggressive. We're gonna take him this way. Okay, there we go. Lots of stuff going on right now. Holy cow, I'm losing this combo. The Curado takes a dip for the first time. First dip, don't trip. Well, he's not a heavy fish. So I'm thinking I've never put these to work. This is the why is this shattered? I don't know what's happening right now. Plastic is shattered inside of this container. Um, this is the Strike King Rage Bug. So there you go. Two hits right off the bat on the old Triple A Hulk lure. If you don't have any number four or number two EWGs, you want that. I'm using the Gamakatsus. Love Gamakatsu hooks. They're great. There we go. And now we got a nice little flipping bug here give her a send 
Oh, here we go. Got him. Dude, come on. Come on. Little guy. I need to stop putting my combo in the water. But there you go. Got to catch on the bug. Oh, God. <laughs> and therein lies the problem. How to get better at this. You would think I would be at this point, but you'd be wrong. That's where you're wrong, bro, Chacho. So I've had this rind for a while. I want to say our buddy g Fon Kim, friend of the show, sent that sucker in. And uh, we've never had the chance to really use it. Oh, tore my bug here. So what I like about this one is it's got these heavy claws on it. The reason I haven't really thrown it is this is an ultra clear water color. I don't have ultra clear water. I'm pretty stained right now. But up on the shallows, should work pretty well. Let's find out. Oh. <laughs> no! No! First cast! First cast! Got him. Just gotta let it sit for a while, man. There we go. Let's look at the fight. Look at that rod, dude. Come on. I'm here for it. He ate that thing whole. Ate it whole. The rhymes. All right, all right, all right. What I have not used on a Texas rig would be this Nico Hubbermite. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the Eclipse color, I believe it's called. There you go. Here we go, bluegill. Nope, that's a fish. It is a bluegill. Oh my gosh, biggest plastic that I've flipped eaten by a gosh dang tank of a gill. Time to throw some different BFS stuff. So there's a couple of these I've never thrown that I really do want to throw. I've never thrown this micro crank. I haven't, I need to throw one of these mono jigs. So I think I'll go with that hint of purple here. I'm gonna throw this little micro Kitech jig. And I haven't thrown this. We're gonna throw the blower. Surface air blow, not the blower. So this is supposed to be like a top water subsurface bait. Okay, able to cast it, gonna loosen up my spool tension a little bit. Dude, this thing, it just rolls. If you run it like you would a crank, it just rolls. So I have to reel it like this. Oh my goodness. Something's on it, little bluegill. Has it. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey buddy, thanks. Knocked this one off my list. I mean, I'm in six feet, seven feet of water. It's kind of perfect depth, I think, for this little crank. There's gotta be a three to five foot diver. I'd imagine. It's a little lucky craft. This should be a lot easier casting. Yep. There we go. All right, so we're able to cast really light cranks. That's a good sign. I think I just hit the grass over there, did I? Does this thing dive deeper than I thought? That's fish. I'm getting smoked. Got faith. Dude, I'm just like pulling through. That's fish. That's fish. There we go. That's the bass. That's what I was looking for. Dude, good quality line. And this is that Seaguar Red Label four pound mono. Uh, big fan, big, big fan. There we go. This was my intro to BFS fishing. Fishing these, these baby chatter baits right here. And uh, you guys, again, if you haven't had a chance, highly recommended it's the, the Z-Man Micro. And you can throw literally any plastic you want on it. So what I'm gonna do for today is I'm gonna go ahead and thread on this Strike King that we shredded. We're gonna just have those jigs. There we go. Like I said, old bass. Dude, this is the fight we're looking for on that BFS. Look at that, dude. Yes, sir. Get on over here, buddy. Buddy guy. Not longer than anything I've caught today, so I'm gonna leave them in the water. Let's go with one more bait. Now, this was also one of the reasons that we got the BFS set up. This little Kitech jig that Ethan told us about. 
So, what am I gonna throw on here? Mm, I'll let you guess. It's gonna be a burrow bug. We're gonna throw this guy right here, which is called Rodeo Clown. PB&J Kytec pairs up really well with that. Purple, green pumpkin, but whatever, you get the idea. Not too bad, there we go. Okay, fairly easy to rig. No bait keeper on there, so I expect to be adjusting this a few times. However, that is a cool looking jig. Let's see if we can catch on the jig. <laughs> on the fall. Got him. There we go. Ooh, nice bass. Nice bass. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. Top of the mouth. Yeah, buddy. All right, you guys, there we go. That was an absolute blast. I had a ton of fun messing around with the new combo for BFS. That's that Shimano Curado with that Dobbins Sierra Ultra Finesse. This was a lot of fun. Once I started catching on it, I could not put this down. Speaking of catching on stuff, that new TFO, which is sitting back there right now, amazing. Trout panfish rod, if you're looking for a high quality ultralight rod, you should wait for ours. But in the meantime, if you wanna have one or two combos, highly recommend that trout pan rod, that is sick. We'll probably even give one away on one of our live podcasts. So you might wanna stick around for that one. As far as BFS though, I like I know it's this controversial topic. Is it worth it, is it not worth it? Uh, and people are on one side or the other, no one's up the middle. I'm on the side of it's worth it. I think it's a lot of fun. If you want to be able to cast with casting gear, some of those lighter setups that you have, ultralight jigs like i was just throwing that kai tech on uh it's awesome i had no issues whatsoever with that texas rig with that uh little tiny jig that i was throwing around dude so much fun something i'm gonna want to carry a lot uh and we'll probably stay in my boat for the rest of the season because let's face it it catches fish and it's a lot of fun to fish with i don't know if you guys have ever had uh you know a, a casting setup with that much bend on little tiny bass. Imagine what that's gonna be like on a big fish, which we will catch at some point. It's going down. So I had a blast, hopefully you guys did too. And maybe I gave you guys some ideas as far as reviewing these two combos. I think they did amazing, they held up really well. We caught a ton of fish, a ton of fish. Uh, this was great. So thanks for watching. If you guys liked it, be sure to subscribe and hang out with us on one of our podcasts every Wednesday, 8.15 p.m. Eastern. Love to see you there and talk to you in chat. I gotta get going, so we'll see you guys on the next vid.